what's going on animal fans this is Alex Texas coming at you with a mini short and the, there was a couple of things that I wanted to bring up uh, today that uh, I don't know if other people have caught this but us at animal the company what we were doing last well the year before I deployed to Iraq uh, we were hosting tournaments with uh, KOTC Nation and things of that nature you know, we hooked up with the East Spot in Jersey City a couple of times, and now, you know, I kind of hesitated, and I don't know if Mr. Rod Lane is is watching, but the reason why I've had to hesitate with doing tournaments is because of now the new business model for Capcom, and again, this is not to bitch and complain about the DLC, however... The way that Capcom has structured their their uh, business formula is now it, how is it? I really feel that the DLC what it has done is affected some of us who run fighting game tournaments. So it's gonna be like, damn, you know, okay, Super Street Fighter Four, you know, it wasn't too hard to get the content and you know stick it on the disc and you know, I mean, you had. Um, when you had the download, then you had the actual retail disc where it had all the content on it. And, you know, if you wanted to run a tournament and you didn't want to have to go and download and have things linked to Xbox Live profiles, things like that, you'd just get that. Or just download the full game with everything in it and no problem. Considering that Street Fighter Cross Tekken will not have this, this was is supposed to be the only retail version you're going to get. You know, with the 12 characters, me, as a tournament runner or, or event coordinator, that's going to definitely affect us because now, okay, for every system that we have, we have to purchase the DLC on every system. I wonder how this is going to affect EVO um, next year when the 12 characters are, are available for play. Like, man, that's a lot of consoles to purchase that DLC for. On, whether it's PSN on the or, or Xbox Live, that's like really. That's what kind of stalled me with doing the the launch event tournament, in, in a way where once I started finding out more about how Capcom is is doing this, it's like damn, you know, I would have waited for Street Fighter Cross Tekken with everything unlocked on it, and then ran the tournament. But since they're not doing that, this really puts a stall in, in NMO's stuff because we do get donations from the fans but it's not enough to cover all of, all of that you know and I mean I got six Xbox systems couple screens I mean hell if we run tournaments let's say we do hook up with the eSpot again if you remember in season two you see how many Xboxes they have in that facility and you have to buy DLC for all those 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 consoles I mean that that's that's a tough one, a hard bullet to bite. So, I just... Yeah, the, the way that they went about this DLC thing was wrong. And Harada, how he was saying no DLC characters. That's smart because you're thinking in the realms of, uh, you know, tournament uh, uh, coordinators. Because now they can just, okay, run your tournament, run your tournament. But now it's like, okay, what if I don't have enough funds to get all this stuff for um, like I can get it for three consoles but I can't get it for two then all, all you've done is pretty much cut your your workload in half where you know you got three consoles and two of them don't have the 12 characters that's I really think they they really fucked up on this one I mean it's just now it gets complicated to, to, to run events and how are you gonna say hey you know what we're running Street Fighter Cross Tekken uh, tournament well, do you have the tow characters? No, but uh, we we have the the stock forty five. Yeah, uh, no, it's not gonna work like that. People won't come to events. They're gonna pretty much screw p small companies like us up. So it's just man, I really didn't catch this until you know I was kind of doing some reading. I'm like, wait a minute, I I, I was planning to do a, a, a tournament with Nelson Rios of uh, Fighting Game League, and I said, damn man, this is really gonna uh, change things a little bit so I mean let me know what you guys think about that you other 
coordinators of tournaments, let me know how this is going to affect you guys. Since there's no arcade version of the game, no full, <laughs> fully unlocked content of that game like Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition full disc release. I mean, this is really going to be an issue, but let me know what you think. But uh, shifting gears, um, on Event Hubs, I was looking at a couple of things where, you know, the, the patch coming out this week where a, a Kazuya's Restand Infinite is going to be removed. Thank you. Thank you. Because I couldn't, you know, I have some replays showing how jacked up that was. And even if it's not like you, you, you're you not doing it against Zangief or Hugo, you can get a good amount of uh, damage in with Kazuya doing that Restand um, Infinite. I mean... Hell, I, was, I, was, I said to myself, I was using Abel against a Kazuya player, a very good player, um, and he just, like, I was like, well, Abel is not that big. I would say he, like he's a semi between a Ryu and a Zangief. He falls somewhere in, in the middle of that, and I almost got caught with that infinite. I was like, wait a minute, you know, it, I guess it's not just to the big guy, so good job with that. Uh, also, I'm hearing Jury. If I'm looking at my notes right, Jury's supposed to be getting uh, nerfed. They're actually adding plus 5 and plus 10s to um, a couple of her, her attacks. I'm like, why are you nerfing Jury when you need to nerf Hugo? Now, Shinwar and I have been, uh, you know, in the lab looking at some of the balancing. Like, some of the grappling characters, well, mainly Hugo. Hugo is too much. Too much. And when I say this, I'm using Chun-Li, and I'm doing all this work. I would have Hugo down and damage almost, like, knock out 80% of his life. And one combo, if, if he takes off 30% of life, and he does one, like, crazy combo, I'm pretty much dead. And then the worst thing about it, you got idiots out there using Hugo with all defense gems, cutting down the damage that he incurs, but yet... Yeah, even with me using defense gems, you know, uh, and, and vitality, I'm still getting macked up by Hugo versus Chun-Li. It's not a good matchup. You know, I even try to switch around. Like, like Ryu, since he's god tier or whatever, I mean, I'm able to fight Hugo off a little bit, but still, a good Hugo, if they pop you one time, you just... Now we're going into the Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom territory where you just sit back and watch your energy go away. So, I mean, there's a couple of things that just really need to be addressed there in terms of, like, balancing. Some characters need buffs, and some need to be nerfed. But number one, Hugo needs to be nerfed big time. I mean, there's just no way where you're going to give him armor off of his um, his charge-in. And, you know, in Street Fighter Four, and I know it's a different game, but if you're going to have armor... Or, or absorbing a hit, there has to be some countermeasure for that. Where, you know, you have something like armor break, certain moves with those properties. Because it just makes Hugo overpowered. Now, imagine if Hugo was in, uh, put in Street Fighter 4 and he comes in with that, that clothesline and somebody had armor break like Makoto and Dudley and pretty much the whole cast. But it would make a very different fight because now you'll be a little more cautious as to how you use that that clothesline with Hugo. But let me know what you guys think. This is just an impromptu uh, thing. But my main focus was to discuss how this uh, whole thing is going to... The DLC, how that is going to affect us coordinators. So let me know what you guys think. This is Alex Sexis. I'll hit you up on the next NMO Megan Arcade Show. Uh, we're doing podcasts throughout the week. Um, I'll be pretty much busy for a good part of uh, in the mornings next week. However, in the evenings, I'll try to put some postings on the Facebook page. Check us out on the Twitch TV, and I'll probably put it on the NMO Twitter, and I'll say, hey, you know what? We're doing a, a podcast. If you have Google+, Plus, Uvu, Skype, I mean, whatever medium you're, we're using, we'll hook up with Nelson Rios, and we'll get that all set up for you. So um, that's all my announcements. I'll see you next time.